Hey guys, it's been a while. This video I'm putting out real quick is just a short one. It's a bit different. Normally I'm building planes, but this time it's about the people I've met in aviation, specifically Jason Sneed, who's become almost another brother. I met because of airplanes and so many of you I've met the same way. So I thought I'd do a little bit different video. Take my wife, fly down south with the helicopter and surprise Jason for his 50th birthday. So I hope you like it. It's got some cool scenery. It's a lot of fun and it's just the joy and passion of aviation and the people I met along the way. So I hope you like this one. Another video, we'll get back to work. Happy birthday to you. Woo! It's <laughs> physics, math, and engineering. Machine it, draft it, build it, test it, break it. Every time something new gets built, the entire world advances. Laying in bed at night, it's designing new parts, designing new suspension, designing new wings. Hey guys, we're going to do a quick trip to surprise Jason Sneed, one of our flying buddies. He's turning his big 50 50th birthday. He lives in Arizona, so it's quite a trip. I would take Scrappy because I want the motorcycles, but I've got the front pulled off for the turbos. <laughs> Eric, see what's the matter? Mike took Scrappy apart. Sweet. <laughs> So Scrappy is down for the count. So Chandra and I are gonna jump in the helicopter, fly it several hundred miles down to Arizona from Utah to Arizona and surprise Jason for his 50th birthday. He's throwing his party, but I don't think he's expecting us. So what a great excuse to take the helicopter up to go see a friend. But I gotta tell you, Jason, Happy birthday. It's just been amazing to get to know you. You have you at one airfield and then buy a hangar right here on this field, get a little closer. You're like the third twin brother to Mark and I. It's just been awesome. And so thank you for becoming a friend and I hope you like this surprise coming down to see you. For those of you watching, Jason is just a true passionate aviator. He has several aircraft. He does fast planes and slow planes. He's been flying forever and uh, I've been lucky to meet him and lucky enough to have someone to, I consider a close enough friend to be almost another brother to me. So we're gonna go visit him. Jason, I've gone to Alaska with him. I've been backcountry flying all over, bounced around these mountaintops and just a great, great guy. And every time I need help or in a pinch, Jason's always there. So Jason, thank you. I love you. We'll see you soon. Happy birthday, Jason. What I admire about Jason Sneed is his ability to disconnect from the world around him and just find peace. And I'd love to have more of that in my life. I think I want to grow up and be like Jason and just let go of all the stresses around and escape uh, in a healthy way. And you do that. That's what I think about when I think about Jason Sneed. Happy birthday, buddy. Happy birthday to you. Mike and Chandra were surprising me. That was pretty cool. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Big 50 this year! Yeah. Oh, and we have cake. <laughs> All right, a shout out to Jason. One of my best times I ever had was Jason was actually in this airplane in Alaska. Uh, we had we spent the day flying around a bunch of glaciers and stuff. It was Seaward. I think we were in Seaward. But man, it was just a great time cruising up the rivers, looking for mountain goats. But Jason, hey man, love you. Happy birthday. I'll talk to you soon. Jason. It's been probably four or five years and I was attending a fly-in out at West Desert 
and ran into him and started talking. We started talking airplanes and adventuring and motorcycles and um, all the things we both love and kind of became friends. He actually let me sit in his cub. It was the first time I'd been in a carbon cub and kind of showed me around and just, I was really impressed at how nice of a guy he was and approachable and uh, easy to talk to. So since then we've become friends and done some flying adventures. One thing I love about Jason is uh, he's, he's opinionated. He'll tell you what he thinks, even if it's not what you want to hear. And I, I love that honesty about him. So happy birthday, Jason. Hope you have a great one. And looking forward to the next adventures we go on. Hi right, guys, we're on our way back home. My wife and I went out to surprise Jason Steve for his big 50th birthday. And I gotta say, as much as I love the helicopter, and I do, and not the plane over the helicopter, it's like, which kid do you like better? You love them both? I have to admit, after being spoiled, flying scrappy around with the electric motorcycle with us everywhere we go. I really did miss having Scrappy on this trip, but we're gonna make up for it on the way back. It's a bit windy, but there's some beautiful pinnacle landing spots. And if the weather cooperates, maybe we can land in a couple spots that no bush plane's gonna get in and out of. Big uh, spires we've checked out. If weather cooperates, that's what we're gonna do today. So we're in Laughlin, Nevada. We spent the night here, it's a beautiful night. Let's get airborne. Right now, the wind's probably 15, gusting 25. Once we get up, it's gonna die down, so let's get out of here, get home, get back to work. Come on down. Just don't slide because that's a long ways down. <laughs> you want to jump in? Let's jump in. <laughs> I didn't bring a towel, so there's that. We don't need one. <laughs> Our clothes will become a towel. All right, we're on our way back home. I love this country, it's amazing. The freedoms we have to fly and stop and have a picnic in some of the most beautiful country on earth. We're gonna stop, we brought a sack lunch. We always make sure before we get out that our cell phone has signal, if not, that we have our satellite phone and away in case the helicopter didn't restart. But uh, we also have friends who know where we are and we keep them tracked. So at any point we got stranded, it wouldn't be long and we'd have someone right back out. So we're gonna stop, have lunch. Look at this place, the temperature is perfect. I couldn't ask for a better day with my beautiful wife. So we're gonna stop and have some lunch and then we'll head on home. All right guys, we just landed in St. George. We had a, just a little bit of Virga rain, slowed the chopper way down. Beautiful scenery, got a break from the sun in our eyes and uh, just landed in St. George. For those of you who recognize the helicopter landing spot, yes, it's landed pointing 90 degrees to the normal way. I came in, there was tumbleweeds going across the ramp and I could tell I may not be able to do it, but I started to set it down and then turn as slow as I could to try and get it pointed this way, but there wasn't enough tail rotor authority. So I had to put it back and set it down 90 degrees, but no one's gonna care. Let's get some gas, get home, get back to work. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for following along. I just want to tell all of you, I've met great people, Kevin Quinn, Corey Robin, a bunch of my flying buddies, Creighton, and hundreds more. I just want to tell you, I love you guys. You guys are the best. Thank you for being part of our family and all of those of you I've met at Oshkosh and along the way, it's just amazing. So I hope you guys continue to follow along these videos. I have not been able to do very many, but I hope to do more. We are still building airplanes and I'm engineering and designing and building a house right now at the same time as these other aircraft builds. So we'll get caught up on 
on videos later, but thank you for following along. I hope you liked following me to see Jason for his birthday. Love all you guys. Wish you the best. Let's get back to work.